year, one year before your fight against Henry Golota, you managed to defeat the current champion of the world, Vladimir Klitschko. And now it is said, Klitschko, Klitschko brothers uh, repeat that Vladimir was sick just uh, a few days before the fight because he uh, ate something uh, unfresh. How, do you I've, I've, how can you comment that? I've heard every story that there is. He wasn't sick. I mean, look at the first round through the fourth round. He was fighting very well. I made him punch himself out. That's why I kept the pressure on him. I made him punch when he didn't want to punch. I made him hold when he didn't want to hold. And I kept hitting him with body shots. The key to boxing is taking a man's gas from him. The more you hit a man to the, to the stomach, the more it takes it out of him. And if you watch the fight, all I did, every chance I got, I hit him to the body, hit him to the body. If you watch, he just start, he started getting more tired, his legs got heavier, and I started turning it on. I didn't come out to fight hard. I didn't even start fighting hard until the fifth round. And so I took him to the deep water and he drowned. But it seems that in the fifth, the last, the last round, you were both really, really yeah. tired. Yeah? Be because that's where your heart comes in. I knew his heart wasn't big. And I knew if we got to that point, it would be his heart versus my heart. It wouldn't matter how much he ran. It wouldn't matter who he beat. It wouldn't matter that he was a gold medalist. It didn't matter how tall he was. It mattered how much he wanted in his heart. And I wanted more in my heart. That's why I won. And a uh, couple, uh, couple of years later, there was a rematch uh, against Vladimir Klitschko in Germany. And it seems that you were a completely different fighter in this yes. rematch. Well, you got to remember, I had been in the hospital not, I wasn't off for a year and a half. I was in the hospital for a whole year. Only had like four months to get ready for the fight. How's a man supposed to win a fight when he's laid, I laid face down for 18 hours out of the day for nine months with a gas bubble in my eye. When I came out of the hospital, they offered me to fight. I said, I didn't want the fight. Let me have a tune up. They said, we'll pay you more if you just take the fight. I said, okay. So he was supposed to win. What about another fight in Germany, fight against uh, Robert Hellenius? It seems that you accuse uh, his team of uh, inappropriate hand wrapping, yeah? Hey, well, hey, you see my eye. I mean, it speaks for I can, itself. I can see because you have you, glasses. Hey, but, but listen, it speaks for itself. I mean, I, I have no reason to lie or to cheat. If someone beat me, hey, good fight, you won. But I would never, ever cheat. My doctor can verify. I had cuts on my, on my eyelids. Fighters, we cut on a bra eye. We never cut on the eyelids. I had, I, I had cuts on both eyes. It cut my cornea and it cut my pupil. And so when it healed, it fused together. That's how I lost my vision. So I spent all last year having surgeries to try to get my vision back. Did you, did you have some uh, plans to accuse, accuse them officially of something? No, because how, how could I prove it? It's their country. You know, you, how, how could I do that? It's their promoter, it's their, it's their country. I believe it was that Chris Meyer and that, that Hogging. That's, that's what I believe, but that's just, you know, I got a phone call that morning. Somebody called my wife that morning and told, told my wife, be careful, they're gonna try something sneaky. Who knows what sneaky is? So when that happened, it all made sense. Okay, but anyway, it seems that you are planning to come back to boxing because uh, yesterday you had to uh, defeat someone in one of disco clubs, yeah? <laughs> Night clubs. Yeah, that, that's on the turntables, baby, on the turntables. Oh, no, no, you talking about the incident at the club. No, I was just, you know what, uh, the, the Alina, someone was picking on her, you know, harassing her, and I just asked the guy, hey, man, you know, you, you don't have to push yourself on a woman like that, you know? And, you know, he didn't like what he what, what was said, so he pushed me. So before I could knock him out, the security grabbed him, so.